Hey guys, this month we have to head back to Draenor to defeat all the pet tamers out here. So get ready for another pet circuit. This is my favorite one to do. So before I start, I'm going to pick up the quest from Sarah. Or of course the opposing one if you have an alliance garrison. Okay. So the first one, which is located right here on the map, just outside Gromgar in the Frostfire Ridge. I'm going to Good for sure. make sure I Retreat. put my hat on. Beware the wild. So just to confirm, you can do these as a pet leveling strategy. The achievement here, you only need to defeat them. Talk to me. So in my first slot, I have the Dark Moon Zeppelin with Missile Bombing Run Decoy. Next up is the Dark Moon Tonk with Missile Minefield Iron Cannon. Third slot, I have a leveling pet. By the way, all of my teams you can use level 1s. Of course use higher if you want to. Makes it a little bit safer just in case you need to play it for a turn. But ideally you shouldn't have to do any damage with them at all. Okay. So starting off with missile. You're just going to keep missiling the first pet until it's dead. Three should take it out. Now when the second puppy comes in, you're going to hit him with bombing run. Just to set it up. And then you're going to missile until the second one is dead. Well, actually, your pet should die before you finish off Fangra. But there is a little bit of RNG. Either way, it doesn't really matter whether your pet dies a little bit earlier or not. This is exactly what I would expect. So let's hit him with one more missile. Yeah. Okay, this is... Ideally what you want to happen, so you want to bring in your Dark Moon Tonk, set up Minefield for the next pet that's coming in, hit him with one missile, now when the third puppy comes in, this is where you're going to switch in your level 1 pet, assuming you are using a level 1. I don't have any level 1s left, which is why he's level 16 at the moment. That's all you have to do. Switch back to your Tonk. And finish him off with Iron Cannon. He is a mechanical, so you know he comes back. And that bleed is never enough to take him out, so you're safe. There you go. There's some XP for the first battle. Do you need supplies? Stay strong. Don't forget to turn it in. And remember you want to revive your pets because you will need one of these pets for the next one coming. So as a horde player, I can just fly over to this lightmaster over here. Or you can just fly yourself through the pass. Maybe it's we can trade. Actually not too far. Next you're going to fly to Beast Watch if you can. Now when you're in Beast Watch, you can head over to Simri Bright Blade, which is my personal favorite.
Good. A new Bellore Delana. Yes. Stay the course. Okay, so here I'll be using the Blossoming Ancient with Poison Branch, Photosynthesis, Stun Seed. Next up is the Dark Moon Tonk with the same abilities, Missile, Minefield, Iron Cannon, and third is the Leveling Pet. So to start, you're going to use Stun Seed, Poison Branch, Photosynthesis. He's going to get stunned now and get switched out with the lantern. So you're going to hit Poison Branch to give him one little bit of damage with that before you switch him out to your Tonk. Hit him with two missiles, so here's the first one. Here's the second. And now he's low enough that you can use Iron Cannon to finish him off before Wish actually happens. Now you're going to recover for a couple of moves. Now you're free to make another move, so you're going to lay down Minefield. Hit him with a missile. And that's pretty much it for this pet but you're going to keep playing him until he's dead. There we go. You bring in your first pet again, and then repeat the process. So same sequence as before, set up Stun Seed. Poison Branch. Give yourself a little heal. Whether he dies or not on that turn, it doesn't really matter. Even though he has Dark Rebirth going, because he is going to get switched out with the third pet. So even though he will pop back up again, he will deplete on the back line. So you won't have to worry about him anymore. So just hit Poison Branch for the little robot coming in. See that? He popped back up, but he is stuck on the back line, so you won't have to worry. And you'll be able to see his health slowly depleting down. Poison Branch again. One more. And so now you want to hit Stun Seed again because he's got his little heal going and he will repair almost back to full health. And the Poison Branch won't be enough to take him out by itself, which is why you need the Stun Seed going again. And you're just going to watch your little tick here. There's still one more charge, so you're going to hit Poison Branch once more. Now you're going to reapply the photosynthesis. It's just dropped off. And it's timed really well because he doesn't do any damage to you. He sets up his little rocket. Now he is stunned, which means that you're free to bring in your level 1 pet or whatever leveling pet you have. He's safe from damage. Swap back your Blossoming Ancient. So he will take the hit from this rocket. And the tick should be enough to take him out, whether it's one turn or two turns. And there you go. 
Second battle down. Glory to the Sindorai. With Simri Brightblade. Hold your head high. Salama Ashalanore. Okay, so off to the next one. Remember again to heal your pets up. Off to Exile's Rise in Shadow Moon Valley. I'm also going to take an opportunity to swap out my level 24 because it's always a waste when it's only well, less than 2000 XP to go. So I'll look at my Q, put it down by the other 24 hits. And go from there. Okay, so Ashley is not too far from the flight path. And I particularly like this one because I can level two pets at once. You can see I have two level 13s in the leveling slots. My only active pet will be Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. Using Breath, Bombing Run, Explode. And you can use two level 1s back there if you like. So for the first pet you're just going to hit Breath. That's all you need to do. This is very similar to the Gargara pet, the first battle that I had today. One more breath should do it. Then when the little plushie comes in, you're going to hit Bombing Run. And then continue with breath. So this is where the cool thing happens. He is going to get switched out in a sec. Which means that he will take all that delicious damage <laughs> from the bombing run. You can see it's particularly strong against a beast. There we go. So now one more breath to do it. And so now all you have to do is worry about the plushie. Hit him with breath. One more should do it. You just want to get him below around 500. Once he's there, just hit explode, which means all the XP will now go to your two leveling pets. And look at that. Pretty cool. Heal them once more. And now it's off to Vishar. Greetings. So from here I'm going to fly to Vale Tarok in the Spies of Iraq. This curse has not broken me yet. <sighs> okay, here we go. There is a little bit of RNG with this one. You'll see with the second pet when we get up to that bit. So in my first slot, I'll be using Criminius with Arcane Explosion, Hal, Surge of Power. Next up is the Jade Fire Spirit with Jade Claw, Immolate, Fade, and finally my leveling pet. So start with Hal. 
And then you're just going to hit Arcane Explosion until the first pet is dead. You may be tempted to hit Howl again, but you don't want to do that until the second pet comes in. Because you will need that extra damage. See in a sec. Okay, so now you want to hit Hal. And you may think, why are you using this pet for this second robot? And he has an ability which can treat him like a flying pet, which is why you want to hit Soda Power. You're only going to have one more turn that will give him a whole heap of damage and that is exactly what you want to see. So even if he doesn't use the ability and turn himself into a flying pet, you can almost take him out with that one move. Okay, so immolate. Of course he is still a mechanical so he does pop back up for a little bit. So once you hit Immolate, knock him out with Jade Claw, and so with this last pet, I see you eyeing Jade Claw, but you do not want to hit that yet. Hit him with Immolate, because remember you have to switch in your leveling pet for one turn. Once you hit him with the dot, hit Fade. That will let him avoid any damage, switch in your leveling pet for one turn and now you can switch back immediately to your Jade Fire Spirit and finish him off now. So hit him with Jade Claw. There could be some RNG here where he might crit you on that move. If that's the case then if you do have a low level pet you may need to restart the match but more often than not he doesn't quite take him out in that move and you're free to give him a double hit because you are faster on this last move. So there you go. Another one down. A dark wind is blowing. Heal him back up. <coughs> and now we're off to Retribution Point. Or Terra Loon. Okay, so this is the only team that I've switched up since Warlords of Draenor. The other ones I pretty much came up with around the beta. Have you any news? The strong of spirit will always triumph. Okay, so this time I have my leveling pet in my first slot, and then in the second I'll be using the Ironbound Proto Whelp. I have a double health breed with Breath, Iron Skin, Wing Buffet. Last slot I have Criminius with Arcane Explosion, Ancient Blessing, and Surge of Power. So I'm just going to pass here, you just need to play him for one turn. And that is it. You can switch in your second pet. Hit Iron Skin. Use Wing Buffet. And then Breath. Keep breathing until your pet is dead. I'm not going to bother about the iron skin because your pet doesn't last much longer. Okay, so then you're going to bring in Minius. 
and take advantage of the lightning storm. So arcane explosion. You want him to get at least two charges off because you want to be able to do damage to all three pets. So the longer you can do that, the better. So just keep going with the arcane explosion. Hit him once more. And Surge. This is essentially a free hit because he's setting up his ability to do more damage, but he won't be able to do anything about it. And there you go. Light's blessing to you. Another pet at 24, so I'm going to switch him out with a level level pet. Fill them up. And off to the last one for the set. So the final one will be Tar the Terrible in the Grand. I'm going to fly to results. Hold fast. Mano ekta, my friend. Do you ever think we'll get one of these Fey Dragons? At least the same model as this one. Match the mount. I really hope so. What better expansion is there for another little dragon pet? Seriously, please, come on. Okay, here we go. Off to Tar the Terrible. So for my final challenge, I'll be using the Felpup with Diseased Bite, Crouch, Howl. Second slot is my Leveling Pet, and third slot is the Infernal Pirate Claw. I have a Power Balance Breed using Flame Breath, Leave, and Great Sting. Starting with Crouch. Hal, disease bite, hit him with another one, this is where you can switch in your leveling pet for one turn. And then bring in your third pet. So start with Great Sting. Leave. Leave again. One more. Now bring back your first pet and do the same rotation. So crouch, L,
diseased bite. Keep going. You're still crouching, so you won't take as much damage. Disease bite. Disease bite. You're faster, so you have the advantage here. Now I'm going to crouch. Disease bite. You have to wait until he his little blocking thing comes off. So here you go. Now I can finish him off. And that is it. Hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and don't forget to hand in your weekly, so I'm just going to do that now.